No, that's all I had, Drew. All I had was finals. That was all I was contributing to this conversation. Was, <laughs> all right. I was expecting another full full Amos right there. <laughs> but we have Leonard Kraft the third versus Anthony Davis in the finals here. Uh, Leonard, of course, is piloting that Torkoal team. Mm-hmm. And uh, Anthony piloting that Totem Coma O team. Yep. So, which um, just a, a, a an aside, right? There are some Pokemon in in the game that there are certain things that give away specific information, right? So, if you're new to the game um, and new to the VGC format, right? Uh, if you see a Totem Coma O, Drew. What ability do you know that it has? Overcoat. Overcoat. Um, and so that comes in handy uh, when you're facing something like a, a Smeargle, which has Spore, right? So this is information that you... I'm taking things seriously for like 10 seconds before we get back into the memes, uh, because we do like to have a lot of fun here. Uh, but again, like looking at the players that are playing, they are very talented players. And so they're not going to miss out uh, on a lot of these things, uh, particularly Leonard, who is well known for being an expert in this sort of thing. Yeah, another interesting note here is these two did play in Swiss. Uh, and Leonard won the matchup, but he only won because of a leech seed miss from uh, Anthony's Ferrothorn. So should be a very close set. Uh, Leonard said he's got some plans on how he's going to sw- So it'll be interesting to see what those are. But Franklin, who are you yes. giving the edge to in this matchup? Uh, honestly, um, if, if, if Anthony can get his uh, boosts up, I think he's got a good chance, right? Because, I mean, Leonard has the opportunity to go for Trick Room. Uh, but Kamo'o getting all those boosts. But then again, here's the thing. We've got uh, Z conversion and and furthermore uh, Kamo'o. So we've got basically two things that are boosting all these stats to plus one. Uh, so that's the attack, the, the defense, the special attack, the special defense, and the speed all boosted one stage. Um, and so now it kind of comes down to does this Porygon Z have Ice Beam? Right? Because Thunderbolt's not necessarily going to do a whole lot to a Dragon type. But, you know, if you've got Ice Beam and an Oranguru in Trick Room, and, you know, it's just like there's so many rock, paper, scissors things that I'd like to give the edge to Leonard because I feel like he's got a few more tools. But Anthony has a really big tool being Kamo'o. <laughs> you know? Like, if. If you have a hammer, everything looks like a nail. Kamo'o is a very big hammer. Yeah, and this is a really good spot for it too, especially when paired with Gengar, because we mm-hmm. saw that the one thing that really deal is like the hard answer to Kamo'o is that Tapu Lele. Right. And Gengar just loves Tapu Lele, just deletes it right away. Yep. And has no problem with it. We actually don't see Gengar Mega Evolve here. No, so, which is really surprising. Not uh, wanting so to keep both of for... these trapped in, I guess. But Gengar's gonna go for that sludge bomb. Um and so this is really interesting. <laughs> clang, clang, clang with the trolley. Ding, ding, ding with the bell. Zing, zing, zing with my heart strings. From the moment I saw him, I fell. Chug, chug, chug went the motor. Bump, bump, bump went the brain. Bump, bump, bump went my heartstrings. When he smiled, I could feel a car shake. Like Psy Shock or Psychic will do good damage to both of these Pokemon. Mm-hmm. However, you could just want to set up the Trick Room. Especially now that you have both of these Pokemon on the field with right. Koma O boosted and Gengar being so fast, it could be a right. really good spot for Tapu Lele. To start doing mm-hmm. some work. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, because Psychic is going to be super effective against Gengar. Um, and then, I mean, if you're using a Rangaroo here, uh, I mean, the first turn, you're not going to be able to do much. But, uh, oh, Torkoal, even better. I mean, this is Sun-boosted uh, Eruption here. 
And then you're going to be able to use a Rangaroo and, and go for the... Oh, this is so great. You're going to be able to use it twice. Twice. However, we do know that uh, Anthony does carry that Tyranitar. So can turn the sun off right away if he chooses to do so. And honestly, I don't know how much damage Eruption and Sand is going to do versus a plus one Como. But we're not even going to get that this turn. Gengar going mm -hmm. for the Protect. No Protect from Como this turn. So right. interesting play there. So Eruption going to be doing a good damage. amount. Does some That's very good. good damage. That's and we really get the all-out pummeling from Oranguru. So probably predicting that Tyrannosaur, as you said earlier, yeah. does KO and Sand. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and he thought it was going into Gengar's slot, which is yes. a, a pretty good prediction there. That's a, that's a fair read, and especially in this situation now. Where, mm -hmm. Okay, I don't get that call right, but I still have both of my Pokemon out this turn. So, right. uh, also, knowing, seeing that the Como has taken that amount of damage and it just went for Clanging Scales, yeah. Psy Shock is all the str more stronger now. Yeah. Because of that defense drop. So something like an Eruption plus Psy Shock and Nakoma O could easily pick up that KO there. Yeah. And so, I mean, oh, man, there's just. Uh, there are so many opportunities. Uh, it does look like Leonard is a bit behind here, and this is a really good switch. Actually, it uh, switches into Gyarados. Yeah, which is really surprising, but. Again, I still don't deny that this is a good switch. Switching out that, that Gengar, knowing that there's a Psychic type on the field that he can't really touch, uh, and you don't necessarily want to sacrifice Gengar that early. Yeah, it's a good point. And for second combo, I'm just going to stall out this trick for That eruption did absolutely nothing. And a good read there from Leonard, going for that Psy Shock into the Gengar slot. Mm -hmm. Just kind of covering for, okay, Gengar stays in. I pick up the KO with Eruption more than likely. Right. Or potentially. And if it does, I get that redirected on a Como. Mm -hmm. Actually, with how low Torkoal is at, was not KOing. So, Slash Act okay. there, just doubling into the Gengar. Make sure that picks up the knockout. Uh, honestly, with that with that neutralized defense, because that, that Clanging Scales dropping defense one stage. Uh, so, this Como is at plus zero defense. Uh, so it could take a lot of damage from and the side shots. That's a critical hit on a Gyarados, and that's in life orb range now. Yeah. So Gyarados has one more attack. Side shock from a Rangaru. KOs Como. -O. That's a great job. And Gyarados going for that waterfall, going to remove the Rangaru field. So no more trick rooms after this. However, oh, never mind. Uh, Gyarados hangs on with a so sliver. Close. So going to have one more turn to attack here because of that life orb uh it, that's pretty good one when you have a torkoal on the field that low it's pretty mm -hmm. good opportunity pretty good time to have one attack left yeah and hey lopany lopany's not a bad choice uh especially with its scrappy? ability as mega yeah as mega lopany gets that scrappy ability so we see how low gyarados is right now eruption will ko the gyarados yeah. and maybe if he is if uh, Anthony allows him to get the fake out off, fake out will do a lot because Mega Delopany has a very high attack stat and Gengar is so frail. Fake out plus eruption might KO Gengar. Mm -hmm. But we do see Mega Gengar now, so we're going to boost its defenses a little bit. It's not much, but just by a tad. But gonna get really that preparing itself to get out of Trick Room with that high speed. Yeah. So Geng just see the double protect there. Not surprised. However... Lopany is known to carry Encore, uh -huh. so it could make make something with that. Torkoal goes for that eruption into the double protect. Mm -hmm. uh, here's the thing, if this Torkoal just gets allowed to keep firing these off, it's going to run out of PP soon, more than likely. Yeah. So. Uh, that it. See, and we haven't seen it change any moves, and even at this low of HP, you would expect that it would be beneficial to go for something else. Yeah, you uh, would have so expected... seeing the amount of damage that it's been continuing to do might give Anthony a good idea of what he's seeing. With yeah, because when you're at this low of health, Heat Wave is by far your stronger mm -hmm. option for an attack. So, it's going to be interesting to see what happens here. Gyarados actually going to switch out here for that Ferrothorn. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. So, if this return... Oh, as if he encores the Gengar. 
could be a problem, but we see the return into Ferrothorn, actually, so I'm taking no damage there. And a rocky, a rocky helmet. helmet. Not an item we've really seen on Ferrothorn this year, but we see That's Sludge Bomb, surprising. KO Torkoal, mm -hmm. then uh, Slopany versus the World, and the Bunny. That's uh, not in too good of a spot. <laughs> yeah, this 3v1 is going to be pretty difficult. Um, you know what? I think Anthony played this really well. Uh, put himself in a really good position. Uh, and that Gengar, I mean, that Gengar has taken no damage, right? Yeah. Like, he's protected that Gengar really well. Um, and, and I think that's thrown Leonard off a little bit. Um, just the fact that basically nothing has happened. Correct. And we it's see that really Gyarados. surprising. Yeah. And so we get this Gyro Ball from Ferrothorn. Mm -hmm. Not enough to pick up the KO, but uh, we'll just be able to KO with another one. So. Yeah. All right. So we're going to have to take this to game two, it looks like. Um, and we're going to see another round of this. Like, Leonard has gotten through a lot of this tournament just by being able to use Porygon Z and... Uh, using Z conversion and kind of sweeping through everything. Uh, and now we're seeing, like, Leonard having to adjust his play a little bit. Uh, and when he had Trick Room up, he was doing a ton of damage. But I would say that Anthony did a great job kind of minimizing the amount of damage that he that he took and just stalling out Trick Room just long enough. Yeah, and I want to talk about the Trick Room turns a little bit right mm -hmm. now. Because... Remember what we saw on turn two of Trick Room. We saw an all out pummeling into the Gengar slot. Right. And on that turn where Gengar protected, Koma O did not. He had a free opportunity to try and KO Koma if he wanted to. Yeah. He bypassed it. And if, say, he goes for the Psy Shock that turn, picks up the KO on Koma O, even mm -hmm. with that defense boost it had, that changes the game completely. Yeah. Because. You now have Gengar pinned in, and if he, we saw Gyarados and Ferrothorn, like Eruption. Neither of those really want to take the combo of Eruption plus Psy Shock. Right. Plus, and I think it might have just been partially that uh, maybe Leonard got a little greedy, um, trying to read a little too deep, and so maybe this will bring him back a little bit, make him play a little bit more conservatively. Potentially. Like, but also there's that thing in game two where you're mm -hmm. like, there's also that mindset where I'm down a game. I got to make a play happen. Yeah. So going to be interesting here, but I feel like with that play earlier, he was, de he was really afraid of that Tyranitar this game in that first one, yeah. seeing the all out pummeling, reaching for trying to catch it on a switch and, and the Lopany in the end game, which we didn't pay much attention to it, but the minus one return did a lot of damage to that Gengar. A lot of damage. That's and gonna we've be been talking about this the whole day, mind games. And when it comes to memes, they're even more mind games. Yeah, and we talked about uh, the double normal type lead working out for Leonard with Smeargle PZ. Yeah. Switching that up a little bit for Lopany PZ. However, uh, Scrappy good. ability gonna be coming in clutch here mm -hmm. for the Lopany. Just gonna be able to fake out that Gengar, Clefairy not known to carry any attacking moves. Gonna get a free Z conversion here potentially. Uh, we yeah. get this Mega Gengar, unsurprisingly. Uh, Lopany gonna follow suit with its own Mega Evolution. I gotta say, uh, Lopany is a beautiful, beautiful Pokemon. I'm glad that she's included as a Mega. But All right, we get that yeah, fake out. Fake Good out. damage. Uh, that plus a return. If there's no Intimidates coming in, um, I mean that's with the the friend guard in there right yeah that's just fake out which isn't a, a high damage dealing move you know if we get that frustration going into gengar i think he might be able to pick up the ko if there's no intimidates oh but we see icy wind from clefairy that's such a nice little tech gets uh, the critical really... hit on porygon z might come into play don't know However, We're just like slowing down that Porygon Z, bringing it back down to its natural base state of speed, and then slowing down Lopany, because Lopany, as we saw, I mean, in the last game, it was faster than Gengar, right? Mm -hmm. So slowing and you can't Lopany even... down, guaranteeing that it's going to be able to be faster. 
Yeah, and you can't even switch out of that speed boost because of the shadow tag ability from the Gengar. Right. Both of these Pokemon are just stuck in here. Uh, Gengar goes for that Sludge Bomb onto the Lopunny. Not going to be able to pick up the KO. Pori Porygon Z goes for that Thunderbolt, doing a whole lot of damage to that Clefairy. Going to pick up the KO, so no more friend guard for Anthony's side. But And so now we've seen... Absolutely, right? This Gengar is the fastest thing on the field. Got rid of the friend guard, but now, Anthony, like, it looks like we got about the amount of damage that we really needed uh, preserved by keeping that Clefairy in. Because, I mean, now, Leonard's Lopany, his Mega, is at really low health. Gengar is still pretty healthy. And so, again, Anthony, like the last game, keeping Gengar extremely healthy throughout the game. Yeah, but this Gengar is in a very peculiar spot right now i'd say mm -hmm. has the ability to ko the lopany right however porygon z thunderbolt just gonna be able to pick up the ko easily pick up the ko on it mm -hmm. but it looks like he's willing to take that trade takes the ko on lopany with that sludge bomb and we get a thunderbolt from porygon z onto gengar following suit with the ko so megas get traded here and, and this will be interesting if oh the leech seed we're going the slow route today uh knowing that this Porygon Z wanting to go for these Thunderbolts because it's going to get that extra same type attack bonus, same type attack bonus, thanks to adaptability. Uh, Thunderbolt's not really that effective against Ferrothorn. Yeah, we get Smeargle coming in here, so that's it because there's no Oranguru. Mm -hmm. There's is there no Oranguru or no or no Torkoal? So yeah. Ferrothorn is either either, but it's still not safe with those Pokemon, right? Because you mm -hmm. have the uh, Got the eruption from Torkoal, and you have right. all pummeling off of Focus Blast for mm -hmm. a Ringaroo, neither of which Ferrothorn wants to take. However, he's got to mm -hmm. now break through the wall that is Smeargle. Mm -hmm. And Smeargle, gonna be, you have to take two attacks to KO it here. Yeah. So, because you're going to have to put all that pressure onto it, you're just leaving Gyarados or Ferrothorn to get bopped by this plus one PZ. Actually, goes first before the Gyarados. So, yeah. that po that's. That's killing a lot of Gyarados. Oh, like, man. That might KO four <clears throat> of them, potentially. Mm -hmm. My guess. Power Whip, not even going to bring Smeargle down to its Focus Sash. And well, just this more is where like... things get really tense. Uh, because, I mean, now we're looking at Smeargle, right? And we've seen on this previously, uh, we've seen the Spore, which isn't useful here. We've seen King Shield which might be useful here and we've seen follow me correct correct we have not seen the fourth move that's where things get kind of interesting transform me yeah that could be really interesting <laughs> but and that's the thing the is that it has so many moves available to it because it has uh, i was gonna say it has, it has every almost move. every move available except for dark uh, void yeah dark void i don't miss that I'm Nobody be honest. Misses. Nobody misses that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we get the Moody Boost in defense. Doesn't matter at all mm -mm. because it's only a 6 HP. And that, that speed it, drop probably doesn't matter because Ferrothorn is so slow. Yeah. So but slow. note there is that he passed up the opportunity to transform if he had it. I don't think mm -hmm. he does. Porygon's also not carrying Ice Beam, it looks like. Yeah. Because definitely really... would have gone for it here. It's really interesting because we we've re we have only seen Porygon Z go for Thunderbolt and Z conversion. Like Porygon Z's oftentimes will have something like a maybe a Hyper Beam, right? Because Z Hyper Beam does a lot of damage. Right. But um, we do see Torkoal here. Just gonna end the game. Yeah. Poor so Leonard. Leonard just playing it real safe. Doesn't want to reveal too much information, uh, and he's been doing that throughout the entire tournament. Well, when we talk about information there, this might just be something where Leonard's only revealing Thunderbolt mm -hmm. because of that information. And yeah, conversion, not wanting to about his Porygon Z here. So right. maybe we want to keep that Ice Beam saved for later mm -hmm. in the next game if it comes up. See that eruption. Going to KO Ferrothorn easily. easily. So heading to game three. Once again, very good adjustment there from Leonard. Take that back seen we didn't see a game one mm -hmm. but that pz mode just been working all day yeah 
Yeah, so now we need to see a, another further adjustment from, from Anthony, right? Um, so I don't know. What do you think that Anthony's got in store? What adjustment would you like to see from Anthony in order to bring this back in his favor? I mean, Como did work in game mm -hmm. one. Like, and he really didn't even lead anything to deal with it in game two. Right. Like, yeah, you had... He didn't bring had... Rangaroo. He didn't bring Tapu Lele. Like, Lele yeah, he, he none of his Como answers. He left the Como answers on the bench and was basically like, okay. He put all the eggs into the PZ basket. With was the a course, lot of eggs. That is a lot of eggs. A lot of eggs and a lot of stat boost. All of which can be matched by Como. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, I wouldn't be and surprised. Then, I wouldn't be surprised if we get a, ma a battle of the boosts here. Yeah, and like the thing is, is that Komoo, in theory, right? Because it's a fighting type. If you've got a stab fighting move, a same type of attack bonus boosted fighting move. Um, if you can get that uh, on EZ before it transforms, I mean, or before it converts you might be in a pretty good position, right? Obviously, Porygon-Z, once it gets that conversion up, is an electric type. So Komo'o may not be able to get too much done there. But uh, we'll just have to see how this one plays out. Yeah, and a thing we did see earlier was Clefairy has Icy Wind. So, mm -hmm. gonna be able to give the Komo'o speed advantage over the Porygon-Z. Right. So, gonna be interesting to see what he goes for because this is a mind game of do i fake out clefairy and we trade boosts or do i mm -hmm. fake out como -O, deny your boost but i get my speed dropped here right see como -O, protect going for protect that is a very conservative play out of anthony i am very surprised by this leonard playing the safe fake out letting himself get icy winded potentially uh the z conversion is going to come out we're going to see porygon z get these beautiful tasty boosts but not speed. Uh, of course, Icy One does have to hit, though. Correct. 95% yeah. accurate. Is known for missing at the world. Oh, the bunny missed. The bunny had the skillful dodge. So Lovany not going to get his speed dropped. However, after after the uh, Clanger is still ablaze, Como mm. will just be outspeeding that. So definitely, I feel like you're going to have to see the follow me from Clefairy. Because if Porygon Z is carrying Ice Beam, mm -hmm. then uh, Como -O probably goes down rather easily for that. And there it is. We do see the follow me. So just setting up that Como -O for its Z move. It is time for the Clangy Boy! <laughs> then we see I frustration. Hope you're ready. That did a lot of damage to Clefairy. Hold up. It really did. <laughs> that did a lot. So here's the thing about Como -O, though, right? Like, yeah, it's got the same boost as Z Conversion. But this thing is Clang, clang, clang went the trolley. Ding, ding, ding went the bell. Zing, zing, zing went my heart strings. From the moment I saw him, I fell. Chug, chug, chug went the motor. Bump, bump, bump went the brain. Thump, thump, thump went my heart strings. When he smiled, I could feel a car shake. Like, oh, yes. wow! Lop and he survived! That, yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Like, that did as much damage as I was expecting. That did a lot more to Porygon Z than I was expecting it to. So, oh, Clanging Scale Sludge Bomb Sweep is looking very... It's looking like it's got some potential here for Anthony. That's gonna be really tough. Um, oof. Yeah. This Eventually, really Gyarados tough. coming out. So... Depending on that clanging scales roll, if he goes for it, mm -hmm. might open up the potential for Thunderbolt to KO the Gyarados here. Oh, uh, that PZ. He looks so disoriented. He doesn't know which way is up. The clanging scales, the clangy boys, this, this clanger soul blaze. It's just... Oh, Kamo'o. -oh. Kamo'o -oh doing damage. Um, Honestly... I don't think that Leonard's in a terrible position here. If that Porygon Z might be able to hold on, right? Because Clanger Soul Blaze is a, a huge damage dealer. Uh, but, ooh, ooh, hang on. All right, so safe protect switch to play there from Leonard, just wanting to get uh -huh. this Smeargle in. 
as soon as possible. Start protecting the Porygon Z. See that clanging skills brings it down to its focus sash. Mm -hmm. So, oh, oh, buddy, what are we what gonna are we get? Gonna we get a dragon, dragon dance. dance. Yes, that's so great. Calling the protector, just even calling that the Como double KO was with clanging mm -hmm. skills just takes the opportunity to set up. That is so good. What a great adjustment. Uh, and we saw last game that maybe Anthony wasn't 100% on par with what uh, what the speed tiers were. So he just let his Gyarados get sacrificed basically for free. And now he gets the Dragon Dance uh, essentially for free. What a great And here's call. the thing. Smeargle, like... That, with that play, Leonard maybe could have been tried to cycling in a fake out there. Mm -hmm. Now he doesn't even have that option because Gyarados is out threatening the KO with Waterfall, and Como is threatening the KO with Clanging Scale. So really not much you can do to like get around this boost except for wide guard, guard from Smeargle. Get protect from that Clanging Scale. Waterfall, is it going to KO? This is Life Orb. It does KO the Porygon Z. Man. So Clanging oh, Scale is just yeah, it gets burned into that wide guard. Smeargle's got another turn here. It gets a speed, speed boost. boost. Hold oh. up. Hold well, there's up. There's a Smeargle. There's a way. However, overcoat. Yes. Denying that. Denying the spore from Smeargle. But here's the thing. Leonard can still fake out this Komodo, right? Correct. So you've got the spore available for Gyarados. Like, Correct. That's at least half the field being neutralized. Correct. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. And this just opens up mind games after that, too. Mm -hmm. With Wide Guard and Follow Me. Fake out on the Como. Smeargle is the fastest Pokemon on the field. Goes for the Spore onto Gyarados. So, Unbelievable. Uh, the Moody Boost! So Smeargle doing what it does best and putting you into games that looked unwinnable. And it gets another one <laughs> for good measure. Uh, and this is, again, where those mind games come in. Uh, we heard rumor down the pipeline that Komo'o has more moves than just Protect and uh, Clanging Scales. I know, it seems unbelievable. But we have heard this rumor. And so if we get Follow Me and maybe Lopany uh, get some damage in on Komo'o, uh, this could turn things around a little bit. Yeah, it, it's going to come down to this turn. Is he going to get the wide guard play right? Is he going to get the Follow Me right? We see Follow Me. Is he going to fall? F Is Anthony going to go for the clanging scales? High, the jump, high jump kick. kick? So outspeeding Komo'o and barely oh. missing the KO. Wow. And that close combat. So... so he gets the mind game right. That's so incredible. So we got the close combat. Right. And the high jump kick, that did so much. I can't. Uh... So depending on what comes in here, we have Torkoal coming out. So probably not the Pokemon Leonard wants to have right now. Probably would have preferred to have that Oranguru available to him. Okay, so we've got Kamo'o at really low health, right? Correct. And this, this Gyarados is basically at maximum health, but he's asleep. He's taking Correct. his first turn of sleep. Leonard, yeah, Leonard needs sleep turns. Right. That's actually his second turn of sleep, because Smeargle went first on the turn and put it to sleep. You're right. So, oh man. So he needs this Gyarados to get a three turn sleep. He needs to KO Koma O right now with return. Then he's gonna it's have like to a... KO Gyarados with return next turn. But we actually see a switch out into oh, Gengar. No. Uh oh. All right. Uh -oh. So opening a door for the eruption to just KO that slot. After Bobby you. After you. But fails because Torkoal's moving next anyway. Oh, so that eruption after gets... you eruption. Into Gengar gets what? the curse ball. No! <laughs> some people said it was a nerf to Gengar. Some people said it was a nerf to Gengar. It's a buff in the scenario, <laughs> locking down the choice specs eruption from Torkoal. Oh my goodness! Uh, <laughs> that could not. That could not have happened any better. 
for a meme PC day. Oh, all right. So here's the deal. Now we've got Wapani taking the Intimidate. Uh, so it's weakened here. Return right? still KOs Koma O, which did right. burns protect. He needs sleep turns, and he needs them right now. Yeah. He so, needs his Gyarados to take another turn of sleep. And But even then, I don't know what he's going to be able to do, because Torkoal's move is disabled for, what, four turns? Oh, man. I think it's three more after this. Fast asleep, right, so he gets so that one. Torkoal struggling. Uh, this might come down to struggle. going to take recoil from the struggle, uh, because that's, what, 25% from this struggle recoil? This might... This might come down to a return. <laughs> this might come down to a return critical hit. Yeah. Plus a struggle critical hit. <laughs> Frustration from Lopany. No critical hit. Gyarados Logan wakes up. up, goes for yeah. bounce. Bounce! Oh, not waterfall, giving Lopany the potential to dodge it the next turn. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. If okay, Lopany this is has, bounced, right? So what he's allowed him to do because he used bounce. He gives uh, Torkoal an extra turn to get that cursed body off. Uh, for frustration bounce connects onto the Lopany. Oh my goodness. And I think Gyarados is trying to wait out some of this sun. Uh, there's only a couple more turns left, but he's got struggle is what he's going to do deal with. Uh, and that's doing nearly nothing, right? Because the Intimidates. Oh, it's no, no longer more, disabled. Uh, no but longer disabled. We have one Light Orb Recoil. One more turn. Well, I still uh, believe that this is going to KO. This has... This is... Torkoal's I mean, so low at health. There's a Life Orb Gyarados protecting, getting rid of that last turn. Just stalling out more sun. Oh my goodness. Oh, uh, Torkoal. What a way. What a way to end this game. The Gengar. Just thrown away. <laughs> just as a sacrifice. Co just coming back from the grave to just take <laughs> this game for Anthony. <laughs> and he is your premier challenge champion over Leonard Kraft the third. Oh my goodness. So congrats to Anthony. That was a wild ending. That, that was like that was wild. Top tier decision to bring in Gengar to get that cursed body to, to struggle. Because, like, look, that that waterfall, unboosted, um, like, yeah, it would have done damage. Uh, and it might have even been able to pick up a one-hit KO. But Torkoal's got a lot of bulk, right? Physical bulk. And, like, Life Orb Recoil plus even negligible damage from another eruption. Like, that struggle was just so clutch because it does 25% recoil. So it brought that Torkoal down to half before Gyarados even took any appreciable damage. Yeah, that was a big plot. Like, just that end game was so crazy. So good. Like, we Ooh. asked for, uh, we were hoping for a crazy tournament with memes in this, but we got a crazy ending with <laughs> the abilities of Pokemon and all, oh my goodness. I so can't weird. even, Ah, oh, I can't even put that into words. If you're Leonard there, <laughs> you thought you saw the Gengar switch and you're like, oh, I've got this. Like, that's the play I needed to make to win. Yeah. And to just get punished like that <laughs> with the cursed body. So good. However, if you're Leonard, like, even though he got second at both events, mm -hmm. the goal for this weekend for Leonard was achieved. He got enough points to earn his world's invite. So congrats to him on that. Absolutely. And so, yeah, <laughs> so I think that's going to do it for us for today. We will be back tomorrow with the collector's cash midseason showdown. But uh, I'm going to sign off for now. Uh, thank you all for watching this whole tournament. Appreciate you for sticking with us even through all our technical difficulties. Peace out.